Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn to connect Shopify application inside Pabbly Connect's workflow in an action step. So guys, an action step of any automation workflow allows you to perform any action inside any given application according to you automatically. So here I'm going to show you how you can connect Shopify inside an automation workflow and automate your works inside Shopify application. Okay, so let's begin. So guys, all our automation starts from the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. So to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description, which is this pabbly.com slash connect. And from here, you can set up your free Pabbly Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach the dashboard. And here, just click on this create workflow button to create a workflow. And here you can give any suitable or relevant name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Shopify connection. Okay. Right. So after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and your workflow page will be ready like this. Okay. And here you will see the trigger and the action. So guys trigger is the happening of that event, event which triggers or starts the workflow and the action is the response towards the trigger. Okay. So uh, our automation work on this trigger and action thing. So first of all, you need to set up the trigger and after that you have to set up the action. So guys in the trigger, you can choose any application uh, as public connect allows you to connect 800 plus applications here. So you can search for any application. Right now we are taking the example of a form application, which is jot form. Okay. So I'm going to select jot form application here. And after that, we are going to make a connection with jot form and then we'll capture uh, uh, the response of a form submission here in this trigger section. Okay. And with the help of that data, we are going to do something inside Shopify. Okay. So let me connect jot form here. So guys, I connected jot form here in the trigger and selected the trigger event as new response. And with the help of this URL, we made the connection. And here you can see I have captured the response of a form submission like this. So here you can see I got the details like this, the first name, the last name, the email. Okay. So this is the form I have filled the name, the last name and email. And I got the data here in the workflow. Okay. So this is how we can capture the response from any application in the trigger. After that, what I want, I want to do something in Shopify. So for that, I'm using this action step. And from here, I'm going to search for Shopify. Okay. So guys, as you already know, Shopify is a e-commerce store building application. Very famous it is. And here you can see in the action events, we have all these action events. So guys, you can create a discount code automatically in Shopify. You can create a blog entry in your store. You can create a customer. You can create an order automatically. You can create an order with line items. You can create a product. You can create a product variant. So we have many action events here. So you can do all these things with the help of this uh, automation automatically. Okay. So right now I'm going to show you the example of creation of a customer inside Shopify. Okay. And with the help of that, this data, we are going to create a customer. Okay. So in the action event, I'm selecting create customer option. Okay. Then click on connect from here, select add new connection. And here you can see it is asking for the admin API access token. Okay. And here you have to enter the subdomain of your store. So you can read the instructions here. You have to create your API access token by logging in into your Shopify account. And then you have to create an app in the developer app section. Okay. Then you will get this token. Okay. Let me show you the exact process. This is my Shopify applications dashboard. Here I have this apps option on the left hand side panel. Click on apps. Okay. Under the apps page, you will find this develop apps option. Click on develop apps. Okay. And here you can create an app by clicking on this create an app button. And here you can give a name to this app. So I'm giving the name as Shopify connect. Okay. You can select the developers account, then click on create app. And you can see your app is created here. And here it is, uh, you can see we have this 
configure admin api scopes button so when you click on configure api scopes it will give you the access scopes of your uh, shopify this means what you can do in shopify you have to provide the access of your store here so uh, you can see we have many kind of accesses you can uh, allow to read analytics you can allow to read assigned full fulfillment orders read and write okay and in the customer sections you can write a customer you can read a customer and we have many accesses here right now we want to create a customer so here you have to provide this access write customer read customer just check these boxes okay just check these boxes click on save so guys after giving the api scopes like this you have to click on this api credentials tab and from here you have to click on this uh, you have to click on this install app and you have to install this application here click on install okay click on install and you can see the app is installed here okay so this is the token we needed actually the admin api access token we got here okay so we have to enter this token here in this field okay so we got the token generated so just uh, click on reveal token once copy it paste it here like this okay and here now it is asking to enter the subdomain so to find the subdomain uh, you just have to uh, you can see this uh, link in the search bar this is the this is my shopify stores link actually the dashboards link so just let me copy the whole link first and let me show you here and let me paste the link here and you can see in the example if your shopify stores uh, link is xyz.myshopify.com the subdomain would be xyz okay so here you can see i have this pabcon.myshopify.com as my link so my subdomain would be pabcon okay so let me remove these extra things from here okay and this is my subdomain right and now just click on save and you will be connected with shopify okay so we are now connected and now here it is asking for the first name the last name the email address and all these fields to create a customer inside shopify so let me show you uh, my customer section of shopify here you can see in the customer section right now i have no customers okay so let, we are going to create a customer here and to create a customer in shopify it will show you these three default fields so these are the mandatory fields first name last name and the email address so i'm going to use the test data that i have received here in the triggers tab from any other application and with the help of this data we are going to create a customer here in shopify so we are going to map this data here just click here on this first name field and you will see this jot form step in the drop down and from here only i am going to map this first name similarly map the last name okay and map the email address as well this is the email address okay and we have all these fields also but, but these are not required fields so i am leaving these th fields blank i'm just showing you the demo okay so you can uh, you can use all these fields if you have the data of uh, related to these fields okay now you can check your connection with shopify by clicking on save and send test request and you will see a test customer getting created here in this customer section okay so i'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens okay so this is the response we have received here let me check in shopify let me refresh the customer section and you can see a new customer a test customer got added here automatically named as sanchit rao okay and this is the same customer whose data we have mapped here in these fields you can see sanchit rao okay so our connection is working fine and this is how you can connect shopify inside public connect sections tab